Oh my gosh, I'm getting a shadow. This is very obnoxious. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been there. It's because I'm filming at a time that I'm not used to filming. I'm like trying to crank this video out so I can get my collab with myself up at the same time. I did not expect to make this video, but it was very much one of those happy accidents. I'm kind of doing like a video within a video, call it video inception, or I'm doing like a collab with myself. Huh? I'm like collabing with my second channel because I don't have friends, so I have to <laughs> collab with myself. But let me tell you what's going on in case you're kind of confused. So what happened was I was out shopping. I was doing some used book shopping because on my second channel, which is like my booktube slash storytelling channel, I do a little bit of lifestyle stuff. I was doing some book shopping. I decided to film another one of those. And let's face it, I like to shop, which comes as no surprise to you guys here on the, the Beauty Breakdown. As I was out doing my little vlog, I stumbled across an amazing store. Let me tell you, this store was quite impressive. I walked in and I was like, oh, angels were singing. There was bright lights coming down. Not only was it like a Japanese grocery store, which had quite the range of foods, but it also had a very wide range of Japanese beauty products. And I have to say, whoever curated the products for the shop did a really good job because not only did I see a lot of my favorite products, but I saw a lot of popular and best-selling products. On top of that, it gets better. The prices in this store were not only very reasonable for having like international products in a physical store, but they are cheaper than a lot of the products that you find online. They even had more shade ranges in some particular situations. So I'm gonna go through all of that. I am going to go ahead and take you guys on the shopping vlog now, and then we will come back where I will talk about the products, the prices, compare them online, as well as give you guys my thoughts. So let's go ahead and head over to the vlog footage. So we stumbled across a store that looks like not only half Japanese, beauty products and Asian beauty, but also grocery items. I'm in heaven. I'm already seeing a lot of my Japanese beauty favorites. I gotta look. Love these. These are always the best, these Utena masks. I love this mask. I love this mask and brand. I love their eye masks, which I'm not seeing. Let's see what else they've got. I must be like the sheet mask section. Oh, I love Cure. This stuff is really good. Yeah, they've got all kinds of stuff. These are the best eyelashes, Misha Blumen. Dolly Weave's also nice, but I think I like Mish Blooming better. They have a lot of um, really popular brands here. Mm -hmm. Like this is a popular brand of eyeliner. And Diep is known for their fiber mascaras. These ones are good brand. I like these ones. How pretty all this stuff is. Oh, this is a, a hair oil that I use too. This is like, um, Camellia oil. And then, wow, they even have, these are like the Silco Plus. They're really popular cotton pads. All kinds of cotton pads. <laughs> this 
eyebrow product. This is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils, actually. This guy. And this is a really popular eye makeup remover. Not my favorite, but I know a lot of people like it. The Goku Jung line, this whole line is really popular too. I love their Hadalabo Goku Jung stuff too. Oh, these are the eye masks I was talking about. These are really popular, like, essences. Alrighty, so as I'm sure you guys could tell from that footage, I was quite excited. I will say, a lot of the products that I am going to mention, I have pretty much mentioned all of these products, I'm pretty sure, on my channel at some point. So I am going to try and be kind of brief with my reviews because we've got a lot to go through. I completely forgot to give you guys a disclaimer about the prices because I just pulled these off the internet to give you guys a rough idea of the differences. Obviously with websites like YesStyle, they have different membership tiers which offer you different discounts or you can use discount codes. In fact, I'm gonna have one in the description box down below which would obviously lower the price. But like I said, this is just to give you guys a rough idea. Now in that first clip you guys saw, I walked through like a sheet mask aisle and they had a ton of different versions of sheet masks. Naturally, I had to mention my favorite and it's from Utena. These are the Premium Puresa Royal Jelly Masks. In these boxes you get three masks and in store this was $10.98. On YesStyle these retail for $11.88 and on Amazon these retail for $11.84. Now in store I did notice they had four different varieties of this mask. They had collagen, royal jelly, hyaluronic acid, and brightening which I thought that was impressive in itself because most of the time you'll just see like this box if you see them in store. In each packet, you get 33 grams of essence. So these are like super saturated type of sheet masks. Like the name implies, the actual essence itself is a jelly texture. These are really good for dry skin. I like to use these on special occasions or times that I really need to rehab my skin because these are a little bit pricier, but so, worth the money. If you're looking for like a little bit of a special treatment for your skin, I'd highly recommend this. Next, I saw this mask, which I see this everywhere. This is a very popular sheet mask, not only in Japan, but I feel like in skincare in general. These are the Kina Rice Mask. In this packet, you actually get 10 sheet masks. So instead of being individually packaged, you just get like one giant envelope and then you pull out a sheet mask as you use that in this little top guy reseals. This was $9.98 in store on YesStyle. These are $13.97 and on Amazon, surprisingly, these were $7.88. So these were a little bit more affordable on Amazon, but still a very reasonable price in store. Now these do have a Japanese rice in them and rice is really good for brightening up the skin tone and helping moisturize the skin. It's again why you see a lot of rice in a lot of Asian skincare products is because rice is just one of those beauty items. A lot of times in like ancient Asia they would rinse rice as they clean it they collect the water and then use that on their skin I'm pretty sure actually people still do that today but I'm just saying next we have the sauna soy milk gel moisture mask now this is another brand that I really like because they do a really good job of being like fragrance free artificial coloring free so these are really great for sensitive skin types now they do have two different varieties they have this one and they have a wrinkle fighting one or anti-wrinkle one this one in store is $11.98 and the anti-wrinkle one was $12.98 so a dollar more on YesStyle, this was $13.44 and the wrinkle variety was $16.80. Now the main ingredient in this is a fermented soy milk. So if you're looking for a fermented version of a sheet mask, this is really nice. This also is going to help with moisturizing the skin. It's gonna help brighten up the skin tone. And another product from this brand that I really like 
is their cleanser. This is another one of my favorite cleansers because it's really gentle on my dry skin. But for being a foaming cleanser, it is non-stripping, but it removes my makeup. I'm always on the hunt for a solid foaming cleanser that's not going to make my skin feel super dry. And this is a very affordable option. Now, in store, this was... I didn't write it down, but I'll put it on screen somewhere. <laughs> and I get style, this is $13.97. I usually grab a couple tubes of this whenever I'm in Japan because I like it that much. So yeah, if you're looking for a gentle foaming cleanser, this is a good option. This is another one of my favorite Japanese skincare products. It's from Cure and it's the Natural Aqua Gel. Now in store, this I think was on offer for $34.98 and on Amazon this retails for $38 and on Cure's official website it's also $38. Now Cure has a lot of their products based with water so it's supposed to be very gentle on the skin and this is actually like a peeling gel so as you work it onto your face it actually collects all the dead skin and then you can more easily remove it, it like peels off the face. This I would definitely recommend and this does seem like a little bit more of a pricier item. I use about one to two pumps every time I use this and you can use this like once or twice a week. Oh, my lashes. Cause I love eyelashes. Japanese eyelashes are my favorite eyelashes by far. I'm in fact wearing a pair of Japanese eyelashes right now. And I think it's because they're made for Asian shaped eyes and so they don't look wonky on my eyes. Instead they fit really nicely and a lot of times they're a little bit more lightweight than Western brands and they don't look so obviously fake. A brand that I really like is Meech Bloomin. I usually pick mine up from YesStyle and this is my favorite variety, the Girly Week. And I pick these up, like a couple of these whenever I order them because I like them that much. Now in store, these were $13.98 on YesStyle. They are $14.16 and on Amazon, $14.99. I'm pretty sure I mentioned these in products that I stock up on whenever I go to Japan, like Japanese eyelashes. <laughs> so this is definitely my favorite brand. They're, I guess, a little bit more premium, but in all honesty, they're pretty much the same price as like Ardell, like drugstore eyelashes. So if you're gonna get drugstore eyelashes, just get these. These are way better. Now, I did also see Dolly Wink eyelashes there, which I tried, but I honestly prefer Mish Bloomin over Dolly Wink eyelashes. I think because the band store Dolly Wink retailed for $15.98. On YesStyle, they were $15.11, and on Amazon, they were $15.99. So YesStyle was a little bit more affordable than the in-store prices. And like I did say in store, I do actually prefer Mish Bloomin over Dolly Wink. I know Dolly Wink eyelashes are very popular and a lot of people like them. And while I do like Dolly Wink eyelashes, I find Mish Bloomin feel a little bit more lightweight and I just like how the band is a little bit more discreet than on the Mish Bloomin ones. Next I saw they had the Kiss Me Heroin Make Liner. In store it was $11.98 on YesStyle, it's $12.54 and on Amazon it's $12.09. I currently don't have a liquid eyeliner pen on me at the moment, but I've tried this pen several times. I do like the pen. It's supposed to be a long lasting eyeliner. It's just, I find that I like other pen liners better. I prefer the Cleo Kill Black over the Kiss Me Hair and Make liner. And I just find it's a little bit more inkier. But if you're looking for a good liquid liner that's not gonna transfer, that's fairly black and it's nice and inky, it's a good option. I, I definitely would use it, but I just, I have ones that I like more. So a brand that I remember seeing a lot when I was getting ready to go to Japan and researching a lot of Japanese beauty products was MSH, their love liners. Now they do have like liquid liners as well as gel liners and they have them in a lot of different colors. I noticed that they had like pretty basic colors of both types in store and the gel liners were $16.98 and on Amazon they were $19.99. Now believe it or not, I couldn't find these eyeliners really anywhere online. I saw this Amazon one had the black eyeliner and that was it. So if you guys want more colors or you want more variety, you'll definitely have to head in store because they did have them there. And again, these are known to be like non-transferring on the eye, long lasting, super inky, and very pigmented. So I would definitely recommend checking out those. Again, I don't have one on me because I mean, I tend to throw out like my mascaras and my eyeliners as I use them for a while because they're just not sanitary to keep for a while. But yeah, that's another popular brand of eyeliners from Japan. Another, another eyeliner, <laughs> I guess I just decided to emphasize a couple eyeliners here, is the D-Up Gel Eyeliner in store. It was $17.98 and on Amazon it was 20 35 
Same issue, I couldn't really find any other colors besides black online, so if you're looking for more colors, they did have more colors in store. And D Up, they had a couple other items from D Up, including mascaras, and I'm sure they had this, but I didn't see it in my footage. And I'm sure you guys would understand, kind of when you're filming in store, you're trying to be a little bit discreet and not like, show that you're filming. <laughs> so you'll notice in a lot of like my in-store footage, I'm like sweeping over things. So to get a lot of this pricing, I like had to like pause and look at the, the footage that I took. So like I said, I'm sure that they have this product because this is Diep's most popular item, which is their Eyelash Fixer EX. So this is my backup eyelash glue. This is the current one that I'm using, which is a Hello Kitty one I picked up in Japan. It was like a limited edition one. And this one is just known to be like a very comfortable eyelash glue that's long lasting, that you're not gonna get like the ends picking up. And so this is one of those items when I was researching what to pick up in Japan, a lot of like local Japanese people were recommending this. So that's my backup. If you're looking for a good eyelash glue, I would recommend this one. I actually did really like it, so. They have this hilarious tangent, little side story. They have this hilarious video in store. In Japan, they have like these little video screens. Side note, <laughs> talking about that eyelash glue. In Japan, in stores, they have a lot of these like TV screens where they're advertising the products. It's really like sensory overload. I have some vlogs of it on my channel if you guys wanna check them out. I'll link some down below. <laughs> but they had one demoing the eyelash glue and they had like wind blowing at this poor lady's face. You could see like all of her features like whipping up from the wind but her eyelashes were holding on. Hilarious how they were advertising it. I actually stood there and watched that video because I was quite entertained. Next we have the K Palette One Day Tattoo Liner. As the name implies, this is known to be a very long lasting liquid eyeliner that's super inky and black. In store, it retailed for $17.98. YesStyle had it for $12.96 and Amazon had it for $17.99. So in this situation, YesStyle was significantly more affordable than the other options. So if you're looking for like a waterproof, sweatproof, smudge proof eyeliner, <laughs> This is a really good one. Oh my gosh, I was so excited that they had Japanese bath salts because I mentioned this in products that I stock up on when I go to Japan. I love to grab me a bunch of bath salts. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, bath salts are quite heavy and they take up a lot of luggage weight. So I would totally buy more because they are more affordable typically in Japan, but in store, such good pricing. I have. <laughs> One of the last packets of the Japanese bath salts that I picked up in Japan last time I was there. And so in store, they had a couple different brands. The ones from Crazy, the Milky Bath Salts, a box of them were $13.98 in store. YesStyle has them for $18.72 and Amazon has them for $16.84. So I think next time I go back to that store, I'm gonna buy me a couple other boxes of this. I have some like normal bath salts in the bathroom. But the reason that I like Japanese bath salts is because they turn the water milky and delicious. And a packet like this will make a big bathtub like mine completely saturated in like milky goodness. Bath salts are obviously really great for relaxing the muscle and detoxifying the skin, but Japanese bath salts are the best, like they're premium. They had another brand called Bath Clean, which is another popular brand of Japanese bath salts. They had a couple different like scents or varieties, and in store they were $7.98. On YesStyle, these were $26.51, and on Amazon they were $29.90. So I think I'm definitely gonna grab me a couple ones of those next time I'm in store. Now, we have a hair product here, which is like a camellia oil-based product. This is the Oshima Tsubaki Camellia Oil. In store, this retail for $17.98. On YesStyle, it's $18.15. And on Amazon, it's $18.99. Now, this is rich in oleic acid, which is helpful in controlling water loss of the hair, and it also softens the actual hair itself. And this is just a pure camellia oil, so you can actually use this on other parts of your body. You can use it on like your skin or your cuticles. Most of the time this is recommended for use on the hair, and I typically like to use this on the ends of my hair. And as you can see, I'm almost done with this bottle. I have a backup bottle <laughs> in my bathroom right now, so once I'm done with this one, I'll move on to that one. Now in Asian skincare, we're very specific over our cotton pads. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie, I actually use reusable cotton pads now, but I was gifted this box from YesStyle, and these are the Silco brand of cotton pads. These are like a premium cotton pad as well, and this is also an award-winning brand. So in store, these were $3.48. On YesStyle, these are $6.08. And on Amazon, they're actually the most affordable at $2.92 because I saw that they had a set of five for $14.58. And these are like premium because they're absorbent, but they don't overly absorb the product. And these are also shaped in a way, like wrap them around your fingers like that. So you can use these to apply toner or essence. And they also have like a little rip there. So, and they're super soft. Like these are actually a very unique texture, very cushiony. So I do see how these are like a premium cotton pad versus your standard one. Okay, this is actually something that I was, dog care. <laughs> this is actually something I was excited to see in store because this is something that I've had in my favorites video because I love this eyebrow pencil. This is from Deja Vu. This is the natural lasting eyebrow. And Deja Vu is actually known for their fiber mascaras which I can't see in fiber mascaras, and that's why I'm not mentioning any of those in this video, although I know a lot of people love them and they're really popular in Asian beauty, but I love their eyebrow pencil. Now in store, this was $11.98. YesStyle has this for $13.60 and Amazon has this for $18.99. It's a long lasting eyebrow pencil and I really like the tip of this because it's fine, but not too fine. It's super creamy and easy to use. And the color matches my eyebrows really nicely. I have it in my eyebrows right now. There's my dog. Next, we're moving on to the Bifesta Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. So this is a two-part makeup remover where you shake the oil with the like watery part and then you use this to remove whatever you wanna remove on your face. In store, this was $9.98. On YesStyle, this is $10.64. And on Amazon, this is $11.20. So this has a lot of other, I guess, skincare benefits to it because it has vitamin B and E in this as well as hyaluronic acid. So it cleans as well as moisturize. Personally for me, I know this is, again, a lot of people's favorites and an award-winning eye makeup remover. Kind of stings my eyes a little bit. It, it burns a little bit, not too much, but I have other eye makeup removers that I like more. I mean, it's not bad. As you can see, I used a decent amount of it. Now they also had the Kikuma Samin. What? That brand is so long for me to pronounce. I will put it in the description box below. Sake High Moisture Skin Lotion. This one's actually from Suzanne, <laughs> but it's it's very similar to the Kikum Matsa Mina <laughs> one. So I'm just holding it for like video purposes. In store it was $10.98 on YesStyle, it's $23.94, and on Amazon it's $17.89. Now this is called like a lotion, but technically I guess this is a toner slash essence. In Japan and Japanese skincare, lotions are actually like toners or essences. So this is something you use after cleansing your skin. It's a very lightweight and watery type of product. This is rich in ingredient called kojic acid, which is found in sake. So it's gonna be really brightening and anti-wrinkle for the skin. It also has arbutin and ceramide. So if you're looking for like translucent skin, this is one of those products that's gonna help you get there. I don't have this product on hand, but it was one of my favorite eye masks. It's a product that I've mentioned a lot in previous videos, and it is the Coast Clear Turn Moist Charge Eye Zone. I really liked these eye masks because they were like a lightweight cotton, so they were really nice when I like sprayed mist on my skin and then I slapped my eye mask on immediately after and it just like double sealed in the moisture underneath my eyes. I seriously need to pick up another package of those, but in store they were $13.98. On YesStyle they're $11.24 and on Amazon they're $13.49. So on YesStyle they were a little bit more affordable. I'd highly recommend them. At first I didn't love the material that they were made out of because I felt like they were kind of flimsy. They grew on me. Like I said, mist, putting those eye masks on, boom. Double whammy. Last products I'm gonna be talking about is from Hada Labo, and essentially they're like lotion slash toner line, which are hyaluronic acid based. So if you're not familiar, there are a lot of different versions of this. They do have a couple different varieties. I noticed that they had the whitening version as well as I think the basic version, and they had the premium one which has different weights of hyaluronic acid. So each of them are slightly different in design for different skin types. The pricing on them, the whitening one in store was $15.98, and on YesStyle, the whitening one is $16.74. So very similar in pricing. 
Oh my gosh, I'm getting a shadow. This is very obnoxious. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been there. It's because I'm filming at a time that I'm not used to filming. I'm like trying to crank this video out so I can get my collab with myself up at the same time. So I guess that's about time my cue to close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I didn't get too in depth with a lot of these reviews because I've talked at length about a lot of these products. I am again gonna go ahead and link some videos down below if you guys want to hear me talk more about some of these products or see some of those other shopping vlogs in Japan that I mentioned, as well as my second channel. If you guys wanna head over there and check out my like joint video with this video. I know there are a lot of us around the world who don't have stores like this available or you know, you wanna see what the pricing's like. I was definitely excited to see the pricing and variety in the store because it wasn't that far off from online prices. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> that's it. I gotta go because now you guys can see my ring light and like this is my camera, so it's getting weird. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I am so gonna use this footage. I am not refilming this. I am not, I refuse.